Welcome to Chapel Talks, an occasional series where I get to have a conversation with you online and share some thoughts that I have. And hopefully some of what I have to say will resonate with you and cause you to ponder and think about the topic that we're talking about. I love Advent. If I had to choose a favorite church season, Advent would be a strong contender. Partly it is at this time of year, the fall and winter being my favorite two seasons. But more than that, this time of year, Advent is special. We feel the shortened days and longer nights more fully as we immerse ourselves into the readings assigned for Advent, there is a running theme that reveals itself, one of comfort, one of preparation, one of waiting. This is a holy time of year, a time of year where we join with the heavenly powers in holy waiting for the birth of a little child who will lead them, as Isaiah tells us. This time of year, as I walk the dog, run errands, I find myself watching and admiring the Christmas decorations and lights that begin to appear in gardens, balconies, and windows of houses. I love outdoor Christmas lights, and every year we light our own and add to them just one new string per year. These lights, in all their shapes and colors, remind me, too, of Advent and the holiness of this time of year. I'm reminded of light piercing the darkness and the light of Christ that enters our world just as it is. My mind is calmed as I hand over to God all that troubles me, troubles our neighborhood, and I am filled with peace, even if it is for the length of one traffic light. I am reminded of our holy waiting as for the Prince of Peace to enter our world again, turning darkness to light. As I continue my walk or errands, I admire the Christmas lights and decorations. I find myself, too, wondering about the people who live in these homes. Who are they? Are they happy, anxious, afraid or alone? Are they getting ready for dinner? arguing over whose turn it is to take a shower first? Are they hoping for a Zoom call for children to call and check in, or a knock on the door for dad to come home? As I contemplate all who may live in these homes and apartments, I find myself offering a quiet and simple prayer for them. I pray that they may find the hope and peace they yearn for. I pray that they may stay well and that while I may never meet them, that they are blessed and loved. The lights, decorations, and families gathering in living rooms to get the house ready and decorated for the season fills me with comfort, a deep comfort that is echoed from the cry in the wilderness that God is coming. God is coming to us in this time and in this place, and it's not too late. Advent is when we take comfort in the fact that we are not alone. God is coming, coming soon to us in our world. May you be well and stay safe. Amen. Mm -hmm.